there's probably enough new people watching the channel now that I should probably introduce myself before I make a video. It becomes kind of strange sometimes when you just, you think your viewers are your viewers, right? And the channel's not growing. I'm not, it would be, I guess, I don't know if it would be rude to introduce myself every time or if it would be courteous to the new viewers. I like all of you just the same. So I figure I'll just introduce myself. I'm Kylo. This is my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy the videos I make. Feel free to like and subscribe at any point. I just fly and talk. That's what I do for the new guys. And one more thing about the new guys. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for subscribing if you have. I hope that I could provide a continued entertainment for your YouTube needs. Hey guys, Kylo here. Welcome to the new studio. Now this video is not paramotoring. Today was nasty, ugly, uh, cold, windy, rainy, gloomy, doomy, not doomy, doomy. Oh, the things I do with words, I'm so sorry. Now it's a gloomy, terrible day and I decided that I was a bit overdue for a remodel in the studio. Now if this ain't a bunch of hodgepodge stitched together editing, I don't know what is. There's stuff from like the day before and kind of some things were happening as I was sort of deciding to go all out with this and I wanted to give the room the treatment basically. Clean it up, put some padding on the walls, get the echoey bad audio out of here so that the mics work even better and I don't know if it was a big improvement or whatever but it made me feel better and I just I documented some of the journey with these cameras while I was in here so I guess first uh well just see what I got sit down tell a story about how we just we did a little fine tuning in here in the green screen studio. It was just looking a mess. We had wires running across like a real OSHA safety hazard, if you know what I mean. Uh, move some lights around. We're gonna look at this and see if it's causing any kind of shadows. I think the lighting's gonna be good. I really think I'm onto something with this now. I kind of stretched everything out a bit, put the camera a little further back. Just I don't know, exploring my technique, if you will. I'm new at all this. I'm not a, an experienced filmmaker guy, you know, so I'm constantly learning little things. I mean, this is probably common sense to most of you guys, but I'm new to it. I'm just kind of moving shit around, seeing where it goes. Does the mic work? I just got it hooked off the edge of this light post here. I'm roughly 12 inches away from it, just blathering it up. I think I'm in focus. I believe I've got the focus set to automatic. The camera, you can't see the back of it. It would be nice to have like a little monitor that I could kind of glance off at and see what I'm seeing on the camera. I think that may be a thing. I may want to do just for the studio, just so I can see what's on the camera. I ain't got to wonder about if I'm in frame or where I'm pointing to something or whatnot. We'll try it like this for a while and see how it feels. I've also been learning the camera, like the whole photography thing. I do that. I do air quotes. This is a thing. But I'm, my chair's squeaking. I bet you can hear that in the mic every time I move, right? The old shop chair. I may have to oil it up. Yeah, yeah. I believe it needs greasing and cleaning. Why not? Since we're updating the studio, let's just fix the dang stool too. 70 millimeters with the autofocus where it's supposed to be. So maybe this is the setting that I'm looking for. Is this a good framing? I don't know. What do you think? We want to record stuff with a camera, right? So we're live, right? Yes. All right, man. You can go finish your eating and whatever. I'm I'll done. shoot my video. I'm done, man. Okay. I'll be cameraman. <laughs> I don't do well with people watching me in the studio, Ian. It's weird. <laughs> You post to 6,000 I'm not a very good actor. Oh, I post to thousands of people. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're distracting me. I want to visualize what I'm, the story I'm telling. And when I got somebody here, I look at you and I look at what you're doing. It's hard. I don't know how actors do it. It's, well, actors get paid millions of dollars. Yeah, I don't. I get paid fives of dollars. Go on. Like that's you. it. That, that's it. All right, I'll see you later. All right, man. I love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Uh-huh. You can interrupt me later. Shut my door. Shut me up in the studio. Studio. I think what I also am gonna do is put some uh, like some sound absorbing on the wall. It's kind of a big room. There's some hard walls in here. I know the sound has probably got to be bad. I got the mic sitting over here on this little stand. So that's that's what we're working with here. I have to change my outro. I can't do much love Kyle out because my camera's way over there now. Hmm. I'm gonna have to rethink this whole thing. Video's over. Can can click to the next one now. <laughs> huh?
how the studio looked. You want to check it out? Check it out. I can show you. Yeah, let me just, uh, yeah, let me turn this camera on. This whole janky damn thing that I got pieced together. <laughs> Let's, let's stick that back on there. Let's turn it on. Oh yeah, there's no on button anymore, so you gotta find the right place in the circuit there. Okay, here it's coming on now. Hand holding. Let's see how it hand holds. All right. Is it gonna focus where I tell it? Yeah, there's the new camera, guys. All right, do we have sound now? I think we do. This is the studio. This is what we're working with here now. Green screen and lights. I have no idea if I'm doing it right. I may need another light or something somewhere. Maybe I should. It looks like I do have kind of some hot spotty stuff going on there. Maybe I should move things around just a little bit. Good morning, guys. Today's mission is a little bit different. It's not paramotor related, but it is YouTube related. So I've got this studio that I do a, a fair amount of green screen work in. That's where I do most of my filming in the house. You know, rainy days, blowout days, stuff that I just want to talk about. But there's a problem with it. It's in a large room with hard walls and immediately when i started using the studio there were some comments about hey your audio is kind of echoey etc i've got to give credit to ross gassaway about this idea he if you don't know ross where have you been right he's everywhere uh, ross good dude lives in his van down by the river not because he has to but because he chooses to and that is a that's pretty cool I know he's been down in Florida quite a bit lately and uh, so anyway Ross came and spent a few nights here at the house with me and he, he told me you know I was a I'm a studio light sound audiophile guy from way back he said if you want to fix that he said probably the simplest easiest thing to do is just hang some gray curtains around your, your studio area there where you're recording audio and that should muffle the echoes out enough that, that your audio gets that one notch better. So that's what I'm aiming for here. And instead of buying curtains, which I don't know what curtains cost, they're probably not wildly expensive, but what's cheap and may even work better than curtains is Harbor Freight 72 by 80 movers blankets. They've got some cotton inside of them. They're uh, gray cloth, so the color's not too bad. Uh, and hopefully just by hanging some of these things on the wall, it'll make the audio sound quality improve a little bit. Now I got a coupon for these things for, I think they're five, six dollars a blanket. That's gotta be cheaper than curtains. I mean, decorative gray curtains, I don't know. Maybe I should price them before I go over here. Well, I'm gonna go grab up some stock of Harbor Freight moving blankets. It's about an hour drive. I'm gonna pick up my wife and she's gonna ride with me. We're just gonna jam some podcast, make a trip over to Bossier. I get a Starbucks coffee, kind of a mid-morning date type thing. When I get home, I'm gonna do some chores. It is rainy, ugly, gloomy day, but there's a bright side to that coin. I'm gonna get this stuff done while it's raining, and then when it comes time for the sun to come out, my chores will be caught up, and I will be able to go do paramotor shenanigans. So I'm gonna try to bring the camera here and vlog some of this day, and I hope you come along with me and enjoy this video. So what do good husbands do? They sit patiently in the parking lot and wait on their loved one to get whatever they needed in the clothing store. I got my stuff, stack of cheap blankets to staple to the wall. Uh, it's gonna look so ghetto. Maybe it'll sound good. I don't know, we'll see. It's worth $50 for the gamble. If I get better audio for the channel, then mission success. So we're upgrading one thing at a time. She said a few minutes. It's actually been like 15. Feels like 15. Feels like a lot. Oh, here she comes. So the gloomy conditions had me at the house and I decided that I would just redo the entire room, studio, everything, just a total revamp. Set up a time lapse and this is what you get. Let's 
just got a little rattle in it. I think I'm gonna fix that too. I fixed the door. Put some of this uh, like weather stripping foam sticky stuff, stapled it on there. So the door closes easily. It latches good. Also had to adjust a hinge. This door was one of those doors where when you shut it, it would just bounce back. You had to actually lift it, like like put a little up on the doorknob to make it click into the into the catch. So I tightened the hinges up and I fixed that. I've got the room basically a little history, all right? A little little Kyle's green screen studio history. It used to be in this corner right here, and as soon as you walked into the door of this room. The studio and the lights, everything was just right there in the way. But I had this really nice light up top. So I moved the studio over here to this side. It was just a jumble of wires and I was trying to make it all work and I finally got it kind of half-assed how I wanted it, but then it was just a spider web. I put it all on one switch. So all you gotta do is come over here, hit the switch, everything lights up and I could sit here and shoot a production. A, Oh, look, it's not so good right here, is it? I've got the one light. I've got a bigger one coming, but I can turn this on the rest of the effect, right? Uh, this is my first go at studios or lights or anything like that. I'm still straight amateur, but this is my first real delve into the studio experience. Like, I, I don't know anything about it. Watched a couple of videos, taking some advice from some people who do know some things about it. I'm sure this isn't the final iteration, but this is what I got going right here, right now. I may do something different over in another part. You could always just flip the lighting around and shoot that direction, and I could have kind of a, a whole separate backdrop of stuff over there. <laughs> so, <laughs> again, it's our spare room. It was started as the kids' room. It's just sort of evolved, and it, it almost turned into a, like a, a cluttered closet. We had a garage sale and like parted ways with most of the junk that was in this room. There's a few boxes left. I got those all sorted out today. So I've covered like the majority of this room with covering on the walls just to soften everything to kind of give it a better tone in the room. The room actually has a pleasant tone in here now. And standing in the little gap here, I think it sounds pretty good. I'm not I'm not hearing a lot of echoey sound like I was previously. So we'll try it out with the mic and just see if it sounds any better. I mean, it was what, 50 bucks and a few staples, you know, hour or two time drank a beer, it was all right. That's where we're at with it. We got the studio kicking, so all that's left to do is make more videos. I hope you'll join me. All right, I've completely redone the studio. I'm wondering if the sound sounds better now. Let's just do, this is a mic check. This is the one. This is the first time I've plugged everything up. You feel the turbulence and you know that that turbulence is right next to where this nice thermal is. And I'm going on about it here in front of the camera. It became smoother and calmer and, and the winds. And the new sound improved studio. Still uh, wondering if I wonder if it helped at all. I really do. So we'll we'll go check that out and see. I've got a fantastic system set up where I'm I'm able to see the screen by using the camcorder on the screen I fixed looking at the back of the Sony, you know, because there's no flippy screen on it. So now I've got to uh, got to concoct something, but it's just so that I can see if I'm in frame or not. Looks like I'm cutting my head off actually. So I probably should make an adjustment. I don't know, can I go back some? How's that? Is that better? That probably puts me too close to the green screen. I wonder if there's shadows. I don't know. We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. This is all the test. This is me trying to figure out if the studio works. Yeah, I've done a lot of work to this room today. Got it all fixed up. Let's check it out. So that's it guys. I hope you liked the video. Most of my videos are not gonna be about the studio. They're gonna be 
about flying topics, weather, paramotoring. I make the videos about all kinds of stuff, but the majority of them around this channel are gonna be based on flying. I do a lot of things. I'm a man that wears many hats, so to speak. And this is just one of them, just kind of fiddling around with the video making stuff. I'm just a hobbyist. I'm just doing this for me and for you. And I'm glad that you guys come along for the ride. So I hope to make it an enjoyable one, edutaining ride maybe. That's kind of what I'm going for with the, with the whole channel, edutainment. As entertaining as I can be, yet at the same time, educational as I can be as well. I do enjoy teaching. I do enjoy sharing. This was a look at the new Kylo Studios, and I hope you will tune back in for more. Hit the bell, subscribe, like all the, the jargon that goes down there. Oh, the comment section, leave a comment. You know, tell me what you think. I think there will be some flying in the next video or two, so look for that, and there's still a bunch of stuff coming. A quick shout out to the Patreons. If you wanna go over there and drop a couple dollars in the tip jar, you will get all this content early. Got anywhere from 10 to 15 videos already out there that are not available to the public yet. As I make new videos, they go there. The older ones get published in real time on the YouTube channel. Money or no money, you get to see the Kylo content, but if you're just looking for what's next, it takes us like a few bucks in the tip jar and we'll show you, we'll show you what's coming. So I'm gonna cut it here, guys. I don't know how to do the new outro because the camera's way out there. I can't, I can't reach it. Much love. Kyle out. <laughs> That's what it looks like when I do it. I just hold the hold the lens. You know, I'm not touching it. I just put my hand over it for a few seconds. And then I, uh, I can just stop the camera. I'm just going to leave it open. So here we go. Wide angle. I didn't even move the camera. I just put on a different lens. And boy, did it change the whole look of the studio scene here. Heck, I could probably stand up and do... Uh, yeah, I don't think... Am I still out of frame? What does this look like? We're just playing with cameras, man. Just playing with cameras and lenses and uh, just trying to sort the whole thing out. So this is wide angle, crazy wide angle. Yeah, just trying to get an idea for how far away from this lens that I need to be. All right, good stuff.